I'll be unboxing and mixes second single album, Entworf, if that's how you pronounce it. I have the limited edition album version and three jewel cases of Kyujin, Solyun, and Jinny. Uh, first, um, I'll show the folded poster that it came with. See the colorful, bright concept, the Alice in Wonderland palette. I'll set that aside. Let's start with this limited version that I got. So I originally wasn't going to purchase this album, but when I saw the teaser, um, and it showed kind of like a small clip of the instrumental dice and the the beat that's when I was like oh maybe I should take the chance and you know just go ahead and pre-order it it might be a, a good song this time <laughs> and then it, did, it also helped that I think the first teaser had Sol Yoon maybe Kyujin I can't remember exactly but it had like at least one of three of my biases so that also helped because I was like oh my gosh they look so great in the teaser um, but yeah, I wasn't planning on getting Entwerf, but because, um, I wasn't the biggest fan of Admiri or Admir, however you say it. Um, I did prefer Tank over OO, but that whole mixed pop concept, the experimental concept wasn't my cup of tea. And also knowing, like watching their pre-debut videos when they were JYPN and seeing how they're like all rounders. They're all really good at singing and dancing. Like it's been a long time since JYP had a girl group where every single member had really strong voices. So that's why there was like high expectations for this group. But when OO came out, it was kind of like, it was a little all over the place, but I'm glad that um, with this song or these two songs, they kind of, they redeemed themselves or I guess management finally got them a good song or good two songs. Ooh, this is really nice. But yeah, like I mentioned earlier, um, seems like they're doing like an Alice in Wonderland concept, but um, at the same time, looking at the teaser and also watching the music video, I felt like it was very similar to Red Velvet's Queendom video and the song is very similar to Zim Zalabim. Um, I guess Maybe that's why I like it better because it kind of has that red velvet influence. And another thing like I noticed that was really similar to Zim Zalabim was somebody's laugh recording in the beginning of the song of Dice and the ending. And it was like almost a carbon copy of Wendy's laugh in Zim Zalabim. And then speaking of the second song, Cool Your Rainbow, I felt like it was almost exactly the same as Le Seraphim Sour Grapes. I will compliment both songs. Like, they sing so well and it's a really nice song, but it was so similar to Le Seraphim Sour Grapes. And I don't know if it's the same writers or if, you know, it's just a common idea in pop nowadays, but the key was pretty much the same. The instrumentals were very similar too. And yeah, like the melody was almost similar it was just a different order of notes but yeah that's a whole nother discussion and i know like pop songs tend to resemble each other anyways but um take a listen to the two tracks that i mentioned um the seraphim sour grapes and and mixes cool your rainbow and then for dice you could kind of compare um red velvet sims alabim and, and mixes dice, they have similar vibes. And then they're also doing that mix pop concept. So I know they're trying to be like, you know, their company's trying to show something like new and innovative, but you know, it's already been done. Like I'm a big fan of end mix, but I don't know what the heck the producers are thinking. But um, let me hide the card. Felt like the, the mix pop you know, the two different songs of Dice. It was kind of similar to Girls' Generation, I Got a Boy. 
if you could listen to it, it kind of has that same feel. So it's very SM-like, but um, even though I'm saying they're similar, you know, that's just based off my observation. I still really like NMIX because I've been watching their variety shows and they just seem like a, you know, a great bunch of members, you know, they're very entertaining. They, they all have a really, from what I see, friendly personalities, very outgoing, um, even the introvert members. So, um, yeah, I just feel like they're super talented and I hope, you know, in future releases, their management or the producers or whoever it is will give them original songs you know, that transcend the whole mix pop experimental mix pop experimental crap <laughs> and give them songs that they deserve to showcase their amazing talent but i do like the choreo for this you know they never disappoint with the choreo that's the good thing about it but um enough of rambling i'll go through it finally and kind of like pay attention to what I'm looking at instead of um, instead of just broadcasting my opinions. But yeah, this is cute. It's a very like mystical Alice in Wonderland, Tim Burton kind of set. So the die is cast. And the video is also kind of reminiscent of Twice is yes or yes in terms of like whole card, playing card, deck of cards concept. Okay, with that being said, I'll just kind of pay more attention to what I'm looking at without commenting too much on the, you know, whoever's decisions were made to create these songs and music video concepts. So, you know, it's already here. So let's just see, take a look at everything. Hey. Oh, is that Heiwan? She looks different. I feel like you almost never see her hair up, so she looks really great over there. And then everyone else has such like long, beautiful hair. And then <laughs> Lily kind of has that Lisa black pink hair, so. Oh, nice. Vice is coming through. I feel like Sol Yun is going to be the fourth generation Susie because she's so pretty, so good at singing. You know, well-rounded, a great personality from what I've seen. So really rooting for her. And then Kyujin, she's my other, she's like a bias wrecker. I don't know if she's my second or third bias, but Kyujin is seriously the moment. Like she is a natural born performer and you know, she definitely deserves the center position because every time it's her parts, with this comeback, she gives it her 200%, you know, facial expressions on point, energy on point. She puts so much power into the choreography and she is, she's just the moment. And I like her new red hair. And Heiwan's, her voice is amazing. Like, I definitely think she's a great leader. And she has such a strong voice along with Lily. So these two are the eldest members. Then Ginny, oh my gosh, I love Ginny. I think it's funny how um, she took the MBTI test again and apparently she's not an ENFP, but she's an INFP now. <laughs> so it's kind of a coincidence that on my top, well, top three biases, two of them are the introverts of the group. And then Bay has really been growing on me. Like, I think she's pretty funny. Like her, along with Heiwan, they form like a comedic duo. She has a unique visual too. And then Lily, she's been around for such a long time, like as a trainee and then, you know, a lot of fans watched her on the same show that Che Ryong was on, that um, K-pop star show. So I was actually surprised that this was her because I didn't recognize the same Lily from the clip many years ago. But um, it's good to see how she developed her voice and how powerful it is now. So she definitely grew a lot in her vocal abilities. I wonder what's the difference with the limited edition versus the regular album. Oh my gosh, I love these photos. 
I wish it was a little more vivid and bright and like not matte pages. It'd be nice if it was glossy since, you know, this is supposed to be a special version, right? So I do wish it was a little higher quality, but the photos look amazing. And Kyujin is just, she's just eye-catching, seriously. She really deserves that center position. And Sulyun too, when she's in the center, like, you definitely look at her as the center. Oh, that's trippy. And I do like Bae's long hair. I think it looks great on her. She's such a supermodel. Hmm, interesting. Holding like a, a game controller upside down. <laughs> oh, and they look like Nintendo hand. Like this looks like a Game Boy and this looks like a Nintendo controller. color scheme is really cute. Very reminiscent of the Sims Alabim, or I guess the Red Bear Festival day one. Oh, the yellow nails are really nice. Okay, I'm taking out these cards, but I'm really surprised because I opened, I opened the box over here and I removed a postcard and a card and then there's more cards over here. I don't recognize their signature yet. <laughs> Ooh, they're holding dice. Cool. Jiu. Mm, her hair looks luscious there. But yeah, when I watch the pre-debut videos of NMIX or JYP and my first bias was Ginny because I watched her, I think it was called like, Who's Your Mama or Mama. I don't remember the name of the song, but she did like this solo choreo and live singing. And I thought like, I don't know, she was just like the moment. She was just fierce. She has a really pretty face. It kind of reminded me of Nana from after school, a little bit. And then my second bias was Soyun because who doesn't love Sunmi and you know her original solo songs that every JYP artist covers. So Soyun covered Full Moon by Sunmi and that's like my favorite song. Like it's Full Moon and 24 Hours. They're just like iconic bops. JYP is a really good writer, so I just wonder if like he had a hand in any of these songs or not. I have a feeling he didn't, but I feel like when JYP writes songs for his idols, they're like really well written and well produced and very unique. So hopefully one day they'll get a really good song that is kind of like, it will be their own. I guess more original. The thing about Soyun I found interesting is her eyes are kind of like, they're not, how can I say it? They're not exactly symmetrical, but it gives her an interesting look. Like one eye is, has that double lid, but the other one isn't. So I kind of find that a charm of hers. It's pretty charming. I think they call it Tosis. Pretty. I think Jibu has a pretty face. Is that Kyujin? I couldn't tell for a second. Oh, well, that red hair. But then her face looked a little different there. Must be the expression. Very cohesive outfits. It's like eye catching colors. I like their lip colors. Are they all wearing like similar lip colors? I don't know. This is like more pinkish. Bay's is more red. I kind of wonder why Bay's stage name is like her last name. I feel like her first name would have been fine. And same with Solyun. But I could kind of see why Solyun, they kind of, they merged her last name with her first name because there's a lot of Yunas and there's the Yuna from Gigi. And it, it's also kind of like um, Sohyun from Gigi. I think her stage name is a combination of her last name and the end, the second part of her first name. 
So I guess just to bring, make it a bit more unique. But Solium is a nice name too. Kind of interesting when they do that with idols, like, oh, we're going to combine your last name with your first name and that's going to be your stage name as if it's your first name. Their names. That trippy design again. Ooh, this is a different concept. I think I kind of remember this. Cool. That one's really pretty. Like ruffle, loose white tops. They look great. I love Kyujin. I think her personality is so funny. She's hilarious. And then Solyun is just kind of like, how do I say it? She's just a hip girl. She's just perfect too. I found it funny how Heiwan, like in the variety shows, she always like bursts into song. But she also has an amazing voice, so. Jinny's an amazing dancer. And I was surprised because I was listening to their second single in this album, um, Cool Your Rainbow. And I was surprised her singing voice is really nice in it. Never say never. I like her contacts. What does that say? Right or fight? Right. So pretty. Oh, they also numbered the pages here. I just noticed that. nice so they have like a space to let everybody know who helped them in their journey okay the CD very trippy and okay let's see who we got so this was the first postcard that I took out of the box. Ooh, Qtin. One of the biases. And I think this is the other one I took out of the box first. Is that Bay or Qtin? Is that Qtin? Oh, so it's a lenticular. It's hard to tell because it's so small. But yeah, that's definitely Kyujin with that red hair. Cute. And the first card. I did take a peek at it and then I kind of guessed who I got, but I'm not familiar with their signature yet. Oh, okay. So hey one. Cool. And this one. Oh, I got the um uni line. Okay, so that was the special version. And these are the member jewel case versions. Okay, let's go through Qtins first. Oh, it's upside down. That's the CD. So it's blue this time. I just took out the card now. Take a look at the booklet. She really is a star. Like she's so young, but you could already, she already has that star quality to her. Okay, so lyrics over here. Actually, I want to see if JYP wrote any of these. I guess not. I would say the Asian soul. Yeah, I guess not. Huh. Okay. Beers. 
And I like how she's not afraid to look silly. You know, like, even if she's an idol, she's not gonna, like, pretend to be, like, prissy and perfect all the time. Okay, that was cute. And we got... Minnie! Yes! It would be funny if each photo card was one of the members from these jewel cases. So, let's, let's see. Um, I guess Ginny next, since we pulled Ginny. So I already ripped off the plastic. Oh, I won't focus for some reason. Whatever. It looks the same. But that's the cover. And the same type of CD. Slip out the card. I didn't see that. And I'll show the cover one more time without the plastic casing. Wow, fabulous. Oh yeah, and I remember she dyed her hair back to black. It looks really great on her. I like the pink hair, but I feel like black hair really brings out her facial features. Looks really great. Okay, so let's see what card we got. Oh my gosh, I think I know who it is. We got Sol Yoon. Oh my god, it'll be really iconic if that had Kyujin. If Sol Yoon's version has Kyujin, so we'll see. Will it break the cycle? doesn't focus. It's the same as the first one. Oh, I don't know if I showed this side too. I don't know why it's not focusing. Try not to peek so I could get surprised. Okay, close up of this jacket. Freaking photogenic. Oh, and I also forgot to mention a lot of fans say she looks like Sui and Sana mixed together. But it's surprising because she has like the same tone, like voice as Sana. She's like tall and kind of similar body type to Sui. And she sings super well, so she has like she has it all. Must be really great to be her. <laughs> Yun is the moment as well. Like seriously, I don't think there's any bad photos of her. Well, in my opinion, I feel like she's like the visual of the fourth generation. And NMIX is not my favorite fourth generation idol group, but she definitely is, I guess, the prettiest visual I've seen for fourth generation. Gorgeous. Gorgeous and talented. Okay, the moment of truth. Let's see if it'll break the cycle. Oh, okay, it was broken. <laughs> okay, we got Lily. It would have been so funny if we got um Tugin. Okay, that was the Remember jewel pack versions.